shall reflect on the life of blessed Carlos Manuel Rodriguez Santiago born on the 22nd of November 1918 in Cagaus, Puerto Rico blessed Carlos Manuel Rodriguez experienced a terrible loss at the tender age of 6 the family home together with the small attached to was destroyed in a fire left with hardly any means of sustenance whatsoever the young family had no option but to move in with carlos's maternal grandparents providence thus brought the youngster under the strong influence of his deeply devout grandmother an influence that coupled with carlos's reception of jesus for the first time in the holy communion would infuse in him a lifelong love for the eucharist as in all the server he began to experience the riches of the faith through the sacred liturgy of the church quite likely it was at this time that he felt the initial call to live a life entirely dedicated to the lord early on in his high school he experienced the first symptoms of what would later be diagnosed as ulcerative colitis a severe gastrointestinal disorder this illness would cause him much suffering for the rest of his life even hindering his pursuit of a bachelor's degree at the university of puerto rico in rio piedras nevertheless on the other hand it never undermined his commitment to christ and the church and on the other the end of formal education in no way marred his growth as a human person for he was a voracious reader whose interests ranged from art to philosophy and from science to religion he even learned to play the organ for the sacred music he was by then busy promoting while working as an office clerk at Caguas Guarabo and at the agriculture experiment station Carlos spent all his income promoting greater awareness and fostering a better understanding of the sacred liturgy using articles on liturgical subjects which he himself translated and edited Carlos began publishing liturgy and christian culture he organized along with father mac williams in caguas a liturgy circle in 1948 along with father macgeon he formed the tedium laudamus choir what is more he was able to achieve his desire to make christ known among the professors and students too as his disciples grew in number Charlie as he was fondly called moved with them into the Catholic University Center and set up another liturgy circle he also organized Christian life days for the students impressing on them the need to live the liturgy and the Easter mystery of Christ's passion death and resurrection in their own individual situations ever conscious of the need for actively participation he zealously promoted the use of the vernacular in the liturgy and more especially the observance of his much loved easter vigil which to his delight was restored to its midnight hour by pope pius the 12th in 1952 blessed with a keen foresight this apostle of the liturgy anticipated many teachings of the council above all of the constitution on the liturgy sacrosanctum concilium though carlos's physical strength was in the decline his spirit never waned quietly overcoming his pain with the profound joy of one who knows he is arisen in christ he demonstrated by the way of example what it means to be joyful and to live the joy and hope that Christ brought with his resurrection following critical surgery in March 1963 he was diagnosed 
with advanced terminal rectal cancer. As his end drew near, he experienced the dark night of faith, thinking himself abandoned by God. Yet before dying, he rediscovered with joy the word he had seemingly lost and which had given his very life a sense of purpose. He passed on to his eternal reward on the 13th of July 1963, aged barely 45. He was beatified by Pope John Paul II on 29th April 2001.